Hi guys, welcome back to Around the Bend. Today we're going to be looking at this uh, Battle of Britain class, Sir Keith Park in BR Green. I got this from a now passed away family member, but on the box I did see that they paid £105 for this, pre-owned, but I'm not sure exactly how much, or like how long ago he bought it, so I don't know what that'd be worth in today's money. But as you see, it's a very nice model with lots of detail, and it looks very nice. There are lots of small parts on it, and the lettering is very good. There's a very tiny amount of damage, especially to the top of the smoke box door and to this buffer. Other than that, it's pretty much alright. This model does have sprung buffers, apart from this buffer, which has obviously been glued back on. This model does also have tender pickups, so you can see that there's little pins that go between the loco and the tender and you probably can't see but there are some pickups on the wheels the detail on this model is very nice be done and I'm really pleased with it Something's just fallen off it. Oh dear, that's the other buffer. That's not good. Let's see if I can reattach it. Anyway, let's get it down onto the track and see if it performs well. Now we have it down the track. Let's see if it works. Yes, it does. It's very good. It's always a good start. Let's see if it can do a cool. Let's just turn it up very slowly. Oh wow, that's actually cooling very slowly. That is very surprising. I don't know if you can see that, but it's definitely moving very slowly, which is very good. Let's try a cool in the other direction. Again, yes, it's very good. Well, this runs well. Let's couple it up to some wagons then. Have some lined up just out of shot. Okay, we're coupled. Now we can send it on its way. On the inside line, I have Another Hornby model. This is a railroad flying Scotsman. And this is playing some British rail coaches. Let's get some shots of it on the layout now then. Here it is, just going to come through the tunnel any moment now. It runs really nicely. Unfortunately this model does not have a flywheel. This model is not up to today's standards in levels of detail, but still looks really nice. Here comes the Flying Scotsman in a minute. That doesn't run anywhere near as nice as this Battle of Britain class. Yeah, it's a really nice model, it runs really well. I'm very impressed with the performance. It doesn't go at too fast a speed, which is quite good, because you don't want it going 
much faster than it's prototypically designed for. In total, I'd give this model a good 9 out of 10. It's not up to the day standards in terms of detail, and I wouldn't pay that much for it. I would pay £105, but the average going rate online is about any, uh, it's about 160 so I, w I wouldn't pay that much for it, but I do think it's a really good model. I'd give it a good 9 out of 10 stars, but that'll be it for today. Please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.